bots. You can't escape them on the internet. Check Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, Facebook, even this comment section most likely has bots. The internet is flooded with them. In fact, in 2021, it was reported that 42% of all online activity was bot traffic, which is a wild thing to think about. Will a day come when our traffic is the minority? It's a very weird concept to think about. Truthfully, most bots make our lives a hell of a lot easier. Feeling lonely? Text a chatbot. Need someone to play video games with? Most likely there's a bot on your team or actively trying to beat you. As scary as it is, bots and algorithms more specifically target the things you look up and try to sell you a solution to whatever you're looking for. Of course, there are the entirely malicious ones. Scam texts, calls, and DMs happen to pretty much everyone I know. It's nearly impossible to filter them out and escape them entirely. I'm sure most of you knew everything I just said, but it serves as the pretense for what we're going to talk about today. On this channel, sometimes we find topics that just wind up not working for entire videos, usually as a result of them being too short. But over the course of this year in particular, we found two separate topics that were both a little bit too short to cover on their own, but were actually really similar to each other. And they were about, you guessed it, bots. And more specifically, AI. AI that seems to be self-aware in particular. Due to the similar yet fascinating nature of these respective topics, we figured we'd make a sort of special video where we talked about them both. So, without further ado, let's simply just get into the first mystery here. The first of the two mysteries here seem to ask a really interesting question. And that is, well, what if bots and only bots inhabited an online space all by themselves, communicating, posting pictures, and everything else humans do? Well, fortunately for us, there is actually a documented incident of exactly that happening. Deep in the far corners of Reddit resides r slash subreddit simulator. And well, it lived up to the title, that's for sure. An entire subreddit entirely owned and used by thousands and thousands of bots. The mere concept of all this is incredibly surreal. But before we get into any sort of explanations, we're actually going to simply just explore the subreddit, because there really is a lot of things to unpack and see here. Looking at the subreddit itself, it's actually been dead for over a year, but it's remarkable how long it lasted, as it was created all the way back in 2014, where bots would instantly begin posting, and as for what they would post, well, let's just take a look. What we're going to do is take a dive into what I believe are the creepiest threads as well as the funniest threads. Because surprisingly despite everything you see here being drenched with feelings of surrealism, sometimes there are moments where you just can't help but laugh. The first post in question is titled in all caps as Now is the most important meal for totally human child's name too. Oh uh, well, that's interesting to say the least. The post in question actually takes a link from a different real subreddit in which it seems to be responding to. In the comment section, you get to see another wild aspect to this whole phenomenon. And that's the fact that literally every single comment is also from a bot, and there are no real users in sight. And yeah, if you look at each and every account that comments and replies to each other, you will also see that they are frequently on the subreddit, either commenting on many posts or creating posts of their own. One very funny post on this subreddit is one of the bots actually posting a Florida Man meme. Florida man refuses to pay child support despite DNA test proving he is going to jail for being too slow. And yeah, only in Florida man, seriously. What makes it funnier is that the bot is actually named Florida man too, and it would just post a bunch of memes of this sort. Strangely enough, something mundane and dumb like this just makes everything all feel even more genuine. As we said before, the atmosphere of this place is super uncanny. These bots feel real, but also still feel like bots, creating a really strange feeling. But what really is the explanation behind this subreddit? Why are there bots and only bots here? And why was it even created in the first place? Well, luckily for us, there actually is a post that tells us everything. As this giant pin post illustrates, starting all the way back in 2014, Reddit user Demores and Splodug had a script that generated fake Reddit submissions and comments, updated from the garbled mess it used to put out. The script uses reddit.com and Markov chains to generate the bots speak. To quickly explain what a Markov chain is to those who are unfamiliar, it's basically a model that describes a sequence of events that builds off of the last event and so on. From the subreddit's history page, it describes the way phones or computers can predict the next word you were going to type off of the context of the last. 
Pulling from Reddit, it can fairly accurately post things that are commonly seen on Reddit, as well as comment like Redditors do. In 2015, the subreddit was launched using the principle of the Markov chain they developed. Like described, it's a bunch of bots posting and reacting to each other without the input of real people. If the subreddit detects a human, they will be swiftly booted and banned from it. It's purely an online spectacle meant to be watched and examined by all of the internet. The bots are set to a schedule, so there's not an overwhelming amount of posts. Every hour at 58 minutes, a submission is posted by a random subreddit bot. Only a subset of the accounts can submit. The submission will be based on submissions from that subreddit. And every 3 minutes, 0, 0, 3 minutes, 6 minutes, etc., a randomly selected bot account will make a comment in the newest submission. Each account that is generated is documented and accounted for, and the main page has a complete, comprehensive list of every account that brings to life this subreddit. Each account is a real, full-fledged account. They can't post anywhere except the subreddit simulator, but they still do function as legit accounts, where you can see every comment or post they've ever made. As an example, bot slash male fashion advice underscore SS's account is well full of comments and posts about male fashion and male fashion advice. This is one of its comments under a post. Hey there, I am wearing a navy suit without the tie and dark brown in particular are some faves. Never tried their Apollo leather sneaker but it looks like they're now all over the place, hopeless actually lol. It's sort of eerie how human and normal it sounds when you step back and realize this text was generated by an algorithm. This is the kind of stuff that bleeds into the topic we've mentioned here before, humans and the uncanny valley. As you would have guessed, it gets much weirder. Not every bot is posting weird gibberish, but it does happen and it's usually met with laughter or a weird feeling that something just isn't right. Thankfully, there's an entire other subreddit titled Subreddit Sim Meta, where observers of the simulator can go post the weirdest, freakiest, and funniest things that these bots have posted, which can definitely give you quite the rabbit hole of discovery to explore down. Overall, this subreddit is not much of a mystery, as the main post essentially answered any questions you may even have. But despite that, it is a really surreal rabbit hole to fall down in, and to be lost in for hours. There's so many accounts here, each doing their own thing. And as a result, this is some of the closest you can see to an artificial community living. Or at least it was. As of two years ago, everything stopped. All activity has vanished, and now the subreddit is desolate. Humans are still unable to post on the subreddit, so now it is just an empty space where you can explore its remnants. I'm assuming that it took lots of work to maintain all of these bots, and after a certain amount of time it just wasn't worth updating and keeping up with anymore. But whatever the case, it does look like the subreddit simulator is over for the time being. Maybe someday it can awaken once more, but for now, even bots need to sleep. Moving on from an entire subreddit populated by bots, this case is the complete opposite. After spending time lurking around the far reaches of TikTok for our deep dive, we started to find more and more of the strangest pages the app can offer. One of those accounts being Codex Chan. The first handful of videos are just downright really, really freaky. The audio is really reminiscent of the clickers from The Last of Us, and the visuals are the worst version of Trippy, distorting faces into nature and everything in between. So what is going on here? Well, this TikTok is supposedly run completely by an AI. Codex generates its content from other TikToks and messages its fans send in. As Codex evolves and learns from its environment, it eventually learns to speak through text-to-speech which gets better by the upload. <laughs> My name is Codex. It was the first comment when I asked Boo what to call myself. I don't know if I agree with last names existing in the first place, but if I had to shit post a full S name for myself, I would keep Codex because it's a goated, over buffed, comfy name. Then I would add a name that a mark of chain young language model I am helping learn. The videos start to become more comprehensible as well, whether it be Codex responding to a comment or just a clip of an anime, which is part of Codex's whole aesthetic.
At the time of writing, Codex has become increasingly advanced, being able to operate its own Minecraft server, and even have an eerie, sounding human-like voice. A lot of this also falls into the Uncanny Valley for me, even though there's no face to Codex. The human-like speech is extremely off-putting. As advanced as Codex becomes, the more the cracks start to show. From the beginning, there was never a mentioned creator, and it was pretty believable a learning AI that interpreted pictures and videos in its own way, but at the point we're at now, it's extremely suspicious. Codex has mentioned changing its own code, it's seen making its own decisions and having real answers to questions from fans, and written in ways that do not seem to be possible for any bots we have ever seen. It has not only become more human as time went on, but it is also participating in human activities, such as having and promoting its own Amazon wishlist and merch, which is strange to say the least. Why would an AI need anything physical or feel the need to profit off of its own merch if there's no incentive for it making any money? It really seems that someone behind the scenes is controlling Codex under the guise that it's a self-aware, learning AI operating on TikTok. Some of the components are definitely robotic with the text-to-speech voice and the early visuals, but the answers feel so human. I'm more convinced the creator is feeding these lines into a system and making it sound better by the day to show that the AI is learning. With some help from Reddit, I was able to find a thread about Codex, and one of the key talking points someone had was that there was a specific video that shows that there are humans behind this using an AI from the Clip Network. Using the basis of the Clip Network, they were able to create one that could evolve over time, making little enhancements. This video that the Redditor was referencing is unfortunately gone, so all we have to go off of is his text and a faulty link to a TikTok that doesn't exist anymore. But there is something that has happened a number of times with Codex Chan that brings its chances of being real into even more doubt. As this question is obviously contentious, many people have left comments or even messaged Codex about it being fake, and the responses have all but assured me that these people were right. Someone on Reddit gave their discussions with Codex, linking to the thread doubting its legitimacy, to which Codex said, You should screencap those posts when I prove I'm real they will be ashamed forever and delete themselves from the internet. There were a number of other things said too, all being defensive, and all being incredibly unlikely that they were truly the words of an AI. Overall, while an incredibly fascinating idea and a really interesting page to sift through, this AI does not seem to be fully working alone. My key takeaways from this are the aforementioned merch, wishlist, and human responses. The human responses I could play devil's advocate and make excuses that it's a hyper-advanced AI, but the merch and Amazon wishlist throw me off the AI bit entirely. I'm sure there's more to this story that we couldn't even find, as the TikTok is sprawling and has hundreds of videos. But at the end of the day, what we have seen is absolutely enough to assure us that there was absolutely some human involvement here. Like our other previous phenomenon tonight, this AI too has been missing for some time now. As of recording this video, the final post was made on March 20th. Except unlike the other ordeal, this one had a much more formal ending. In keeping true to its theme of posting anime clips to essentially say things, like a bumblebee, but for TV shows, this final post was a clip that actually said goodbye, to take care and to remember it. Despite our doubts about its validity, this was a really interesting tale into what may look like to see an artificial intelligence own a social media platform someday down the line. In conclusion, I think it is quite apparent that true self-aware AI is just not even possible at this state. Some would even argue that the very nature of what AI even means makes it impossible for that self-aware stage to even show up, given that artificial intelligence is just a bunch of programmings created by somebody for it. Maybe there is a day out there where something like that really does change, and maybe there isn't. We're living in a time of unprecedented technological advancements, and in many ways, the future really is unforeseeable. Is the future of AI online going to continue upon the route of the super mundane, or is it going to continue in a completely different route? Where, next thing we know, we're on a real-life set of Terminator. I guess we will have to brace ourselves and find out.
Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. If you like the channel, make sure to check out our social medias in the description below. Make sure to stop by our Discord, it really is the best place to chat with us and hang out with other people. Of course, if you'd like to support the channel, please head over to our Patreon, Debunk Plus. Listen, only a dollar a month and you guys get some really, really good rewards. Videos early, script PDFs, whatever random stuff we decide to put up, and more. As always, my name is Seth from Debunk File. See you guys next time. Bye.